Our Tara Molina following this all day long. Jordan is now live. And Tara, what are you seeing and any problems out there right now? Thankfully, guys, no problems to report. These groups were loud and they marched, but they were peaceful for the most part. And today, we followed them as they inched closer and closer to the queue. That's convention headquarters. They were followed up closely by Cleveland police. Hundreds marching through Cleveland. Protesters coming from different organizations representing different religions and beliefs and coming from across the country to march here. People are coming from all across the country, from Cleveland and the rest of Ohio, of course, but also from throughout the Midwest and even further afield. Telling me they gather here in Cleveland to take a stand and make their voices heard. You know, we stand for peace, justice and equality. Just to keep the peace. Here to create a safe space so that everyone can express themselves freely. We're trained trained in violence de-escalation, we're trained in nonviolent communication. And for the most part, they succeeded in that. There are as many journalists here as there are protesters. Yeah, yeah a little bit more than I thought. <laughs> Cleveland police following closely on bikes, sometimes barricading certain streets, but not encountering issues. I don't believe that anything would break out or anything bad would happen. Hundreds of protesters here from across the country. Those demonstrations, those marches will continue into the night. I will bring you live updates on all of them in all of our shows. We're on at 5, 6, and 7, so stick with News Channel 5. Live in Cleveland, Tara Molina, News Channel 5.